So, miss, big time deal. The so-called captain took the chance to ride someone else's coattails again. Hooray. Congrats. You better believe if I ever partnered with Cena, I wouldn't make him carry our whole team. Of course, I would have had that opportunity if it hadn't been so viciously taken from me by someone whose priority in WWE right now is transitioning to part-timer. But maybe that's why you got into this industry in the first place. As a stepping stone to something else? The last time it was just me and you, Cap, you got lucky. That won't happen again. So I'm ready to end this. Once and for all. You and me. SummerSlam. You've got your big movie, your big talk show, your red carpets. If you're so hungry to leave WWE for Hollywood, I'm happy to help. Fade in on a dramatic big picture ending. Loser leaves Raw. I may be a star, but I also want to be here. You? I'm not so sure. Oh my goodness, this all has been so incredible. What? First, a dramatic confrontation and comeuppance on your talk show, Captive Audience. You didn't even see Liv coming. Then, after your one-on-one -on -one battle with Liv Morgan, freaking Cena gets involved and shows up as your partner. <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine. What is going to happen at SummerSlam? Wow, you're really into this, huh? I know! And once you win, imagine all the others you can conquer. Week after week, you, you face a new formidable foe and engage in battle to prove who is stronger, smarter, and more powerful. Uh, Alfie? Uh, yes? So, I gotta ask. Had you ever watched WWE programming before you started representing me? Honestly, okay, no. I was just struck by your cheese talent. I started watching more recently, and it is awesome. The stories I've seen rival any Hollywood production. And you put your bodies on the line for real. I told you from the start that I knew you had something special. I was right. I'm surprised you're so into this. I figured you'd want me to use this as an excuse to leave WWE so I could move on to the next big thing in my career. Next big thing? This is the next big thing. Facing Liv and dominating the entirety of the WWE women's division. Don't worry about Hollywood. I'll keep the offers rolling in once you've accomplished everything you need to hear. Really? Of course. As your agent, I'm supposed to guide you. No way I would let you leave all this behind. <sighs> Though we really should talk about that 10% you owe me. Sorry, Alfie, gotta go!
The flash bulbs are popping. It's the captain. The following is a loser leaves Raw match. Making our way to the ring from New York, Taylor Lane. Through sheer talent and charisma, Cap has become the name on everyone's lips. Stan much, Saxton? You couldn't sound thirstier if you were in the Sahara. But get your adulation in, because this might be your last chance. The lights can't be brighter and the stakes can't be higher. It's a red carpet loser leaves Raw match. These two have been fighting for the center stage of the WWE Universe for some time now. Who will get top billing when it's all said and done? Only one of these superstars will have a happy ending in this summer blockbuster match. Stopping their opponent. Oh, wow. oh my forearm smash. Oh. Both wrists captured. And that was nasty. Liv is losing any kind of advantage here. Yeah, Liv's defensive instincts need to kick in. From the... Kinshasa! That was good, Cole. Ooh. Firm control. Oh, jeez. Nasty kick to the face. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Just mounted with punches and not stomping. Ouch. Able to interrupt the attack. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh. Spiking DDT. You can tell a fire has been lit inside of her. And little by little, she's demoralizing her competition. Firm control. Big boot! She's showing signs of slowing now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Downward spiral. Lift it up. What do they have in mind here? Oh my God, burning hammer. Liv won't come back from that. The cover. A kick out, I don't believe it. Liv Morgan showed what she's made of there with a really impressive kick out. You got to give a lot of credit here, withstanding what has taken out many other competitors. She turns it right around with a counter. Boom! And a big boot. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Taylor Lang. This is a travesty. What are we going to do without Liv? Eat, sleep, breathe, enjoy life, and watch Cap on Raw and on the silver screen.
I'm glad to see you decided to stick around WWE. Would have hated to lose you to Hollywood. There's more I wanted to accomplish here. Probably more for me to learn too. I mean, you've sure seen a lot in your time here. I am a five-time women's champion. I was actually wondering about some of the stranger things you've encountered. The weird, the otherworldly, the supernatural. Are you sure you want to be asking me about all that? Regal said I should explore everything in WWE. Why not? Of all the ways to become powerful in WWE, the kind of power you're talking about comes with a cost. Chill, I'm just asking a question. Some of my favorite superstars in WWE have flirted with or embraced the supernatural. The Undertaker, Finn Balor, Bray Wyatt. You? Even asking is dangerous. You see some of what I'm talking about on TV, sure, but you don't understand how it works. There's a force in WWE, and it's looking all the time for anyone who's open to receiving its gift. Right. Well, thanks for the warning. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll back off then. At least for now. Good choice. It's the captain of the silver screen, Daddy. <laughs> I did look pretty good up there, didn't I? What are you up to, Mick? If there's anyone who understands this journey you're on, it's good old Mick and all his faces, unlike your fairy godfather. <laughs> My fairy godfather? You got that right, Daddy. Dude has done everything there is to do in WWE. Mankind was a monster. Cactus Jack was the most brutal SOB on Earth. And Dude Love, well, Dude is the cat's meow. Believe me, I know. You're one of my heroes. Great. I'm here to trip the light fantastic down memory lane and give you the opportunity to try something unique via mix special pixie dust. Hmm. Intriguing. It sure is. Just like you and your star turn. I can relate to that. After all, Dude Love knows a little something about being a star. He's the life of the Barduki, the center of the universe, the cat's pajamas, just like you. Lord have mercy. Yes, ow, have mercy. Now that you've had a taste of the good life, you're gonna have to fight to stay at the top of the pack. Everybody wants what you got. You can say that again. Everybody wants what you got. So you ready to protect what you have like the international beloved heartthrob I know you are, even if it means defending against them all at once? You're damn right, Mick. I'm still the coolest cat and the biggest star, and none of these squares can take that from me. Then let's get this Pardukey started. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making her way to the ring.
My, oh my, look at all those cool cats and kittens. That man in the tie-dye sitting back and enjoying the park is particularly strong. Don't get too comfortable. Every hang eventually has to come to an end, and hopefully you can be the last woman moving and grooving at the end of it all. Have mercy, or in this case, don't. I'm glad to see you decided to stick around WWE. There's more I wanted to accomplish. I am. I was. Are you sure you want to be? Regal said I. Of all the ways to become. Maybe it's a cost I'm willing to pay. Some of my favorite superstars in WWE have flirted with. You have no idea what you're. I may not fully understand, but I am open to it. Regal told me to let go of all my reservations. Okay then. There's a physical manifestation of this power, an artifact. We don't know where it comes from, but it came to me and it's still in my possession. Honestly, I've been trying to get rid of it, but it's too dangerous to simply cast aside. A physical manifestation? You've seen the urn, but you haven't seen this. I'll make sure you get it before your next match. Wear it under your gear. This power, it'll open you to possibilities beyond your wildest imagination. Just be careful you don't let it overtake you.
Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. I'm always excited to see the captain in action, but for some reason, I've got chills tonight. Yeah, there's something in the air. I can't quite put my finger on it. I think we're gonna see something special tonight, Corey. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Oh. If this lands, it might be all over. Samoa Driver. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Oh, look at this. Muay Thai knee strikes. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Beautiful arm ringer applied. Bang! So accurate. Just a continuous rush on Gigi here. Gigi has to turn this around and quick. Come on, what's going on here? Pay attention to your competition. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. Monday Night Raw, of course, the longest-running weekly episodic television show in history. Huge boot. Arm sister, look at these vicious kicks to the jaw. And now she finds herself only playing. defense. She's been pushed into a bad spot for sure. Brutality. Oh. Just going all out with every blow. Beautiful arm ringer applied. Bang! So accurate. Just a continuous rush on Gigi here. Gigi has to turn this around and quick. Drop toe hold. Can she score the pin? Two count there. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Just caught flush. Go for the arm bar and up. Just stretching out the arm. You have to protect your shoulders from hits like that. You don't want to compromise your ability to throw a punch or lock in a hole. That offense really hitting her hard. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Into the match. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Flattened with a downward spiral. Kick in the gut. No way. No way. This is not going to be pretty. Kudo driver. Dolan is absolutely laid out. Cover. She wrote. Here is your winner, Taylor Lane. 
TG Dolan having to take the L here. Dolan defeated for now, but this is a woman who knows how to pick herself up. What was that? What do you mean? I beat you. That was that. I don't care about losing. No, I mean, I do care about losing, but there was something off with you in that match. What are you accusing me of? I don't even know, but whatever it was, it wasn't natural. Everything's natural if you let it take you, my darling Gigi. What the heck does that mean? You'll find out, little girl. Your time will come. Okay, now you're just being creepy. Are you trying to make me mad? What's wrong with going mad, Gigi? Madness is intoxicating. Just. Let. Go. <laughs> Stop trolling me, I'm getting a rematch. No funny business this time. Commanding the ring and forging her path, the captain. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. Introducing first, from New York, Taylor Lane. From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this isn't some smoke-filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. The captain is ready to call the shots. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some chaos. And her partner from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross! The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. There's so many accolades in Nikki's career. She was even the final 24-7 champion after throwing the title in the trash. Well, the last woman to throw a title in the trash made it to the Hall of Fame, so maybe there's a method to Nikki's madness. The self-proclaimed 
Hell's favorite harlot. And you can see exactly why. And from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. Dolan competed in some of the top independent promotions, earning some of the biggest women's titles outside of WWE. And since then has held the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship on multiple occasions. Gigi Dolan has the ability to be pretty imaginative in the ring. She says her creativity is how she expresses herself. Meechin ready to bring a beat down. Now she's still the head baddie in charge, but now she's also too sweet. And representing the OC from Fontana, California, Meechin! The HBIC of WWE looking to carve a name for herself and leave her mark on sports entertainment. Look, there's no doubt Meechin has all the tools to do just that, but can she put them together and reach the top? A determined look on her face. She knows how to prove herself in the women's division. As this tag team action gets underway, I actually have chills in anticipation. Wait a second, Cole, did it just get colder in the arena? I noticed that too. The moment the captain stepped out, it got different, right? Weird. Firm control. A wicked kick to the face. Unloads with the boot. Oh, goodness, what a moonsault. Oh, look at this arm wrench. Leg Lariat with the arm wrench. Very nice. Now Dolan can't stop this momentum. Gigi has to turn this around and quick. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Uh-oh, arms are trapped. No way to protect himself. Oh, stop after stop after stop. Jeez. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Cap looks like she's trying to end this now, but Gigi's too quick. Not like Gigi to miss that. What the heck? Uh, is Gigi floating? I don't know what we're looking at. Are you seeing this too, Cole? Yes, I am. We've only seen forces like this a few times before in WWE, and it's never anything good. Gigi taps out and capped for the win. That's a victory, all right, but I don't think the submission is what people are going to be talking about. I, I don't know what to think. I'm going to have nightmares about this match.
It's happening, isn't it? I knew it would. How do you feel? Feelings are irrelevant. I could tell that's not what you wanted to say. Focus. I feel incredible. This power, it's intoxicating. That's better. The amulet is giving you power, but it latches onto the darkness inside of you. Whatever kind it finds. What kind, kind of, of darkness? darkness? What, what do you mean? mean? When it entered me, it found a scared little girl looking for permission to play. Turns out, I was hungry for that release. So that's what I became. What are you hungry for? When you look into your darkness, what do you see? And how do you see yourself? My darkness is me. For even in my purest state, I know I am diseased. The dark paint that covers my face shows that I am more virus and vermin than human. With only the simplest of materials covering my body, tattered and torn, the light-colored scraps of fabric represent the filth that deep inside I know that I am. If the darkness of self is what you see, then that is what will overtake you. Are you sure that's the source of the power? Actually, I'm not sure. Look into your darkness again. What do you see? My darkness comes from the depths of hell. Built on the backs of the damned who grovel and scream without hope. I see a cloak of midnight enveloping my body, hiding the horrors my darkness brings forth. And when the cloak is cast aside, I see myself standing tall with power, clothed in deep red, the blood that the screaming masses can no longer bleed. If the darkness of hell is what you see, then that is what will overtake you. Are you sure that's the source of the power? Actually, I'm not sure. Look into your darkness again. What do you see? My darkness comes from the cruel reality of the natural world, neglected for beams of steel. I'll make them remember what birthed us in the first place. I see myself intertwined with the vines of that natural world, in greens and rich grounds, paying homage to what has been cast aside. My head is adorned by equal parts flowers and thorns, representing the duality of all that is beautiful and cruel. If the darkness of nature is what you see, then that is what will overtake you. Are you sure that's the source of the power? Actually, look into your darkness again. My darkness is older than time itself. I see myself in the vestments of our oldest ancestors. Not the gods on high, but those who have fallen. Gold represents the richness of my strength. From the twisted crown of gilded horns upon my head, to the armor that covers my body. If the darkness of the past is what you see... Actually... Look into your darkness again. My darkness... Come... I see a cloak of midnight enveloping my body, hiding the horrors of my darkness. If the darkness of hell is what... That's the darkness I feel coursing through me. And I'm ready to give in to it. What happened in my last match was the darkness and the amulet acting on its own. Now that I understand it, I'll be able to harness it. If you say so, there's no turning back now.
What in the Lord's name? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from New York, Taylor Lane. The Undertaker, Kane, Bray Wyatt. I thought I'd seen the spookiest corners of the WWE Universe, but I was wrong. This is like nothing we've ever seen before. Whatever Cap was before, whoever she was, is gone. Meachin ready to bring a beat down. I've seen it all in my time here at WWE, but this is one of the most chilling and shocking competitors to ever step foot in a ring. These powers aren't of this world, Cole. I hope Meachin knows what she's getting into because it's too late to back out now. Oof. Ooh. And Meachin reverses it. And misses on the springboard. Get her answering back. One response after another, back and forth we go. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. A stalemate of counters. And Meechin won't be having a good night if she allows more offense like that. She can withstand the punishment, though. Oh, what a kick. And she delivers a vicious suplex. That was a gnarly one. Meechin looks dazed. Um, guys, what is she doing? Oh, no, it's happening again. She's floating off the mat. And she comes crashing down. What the heck? Who needs to hook the leg when you can levitate people? And that'll do it. Don't blame the official for being apprehensive after that. I don't think the referee has a choice. I'm getting out of here. Right behind you. Really, guys? The locker room is talking. They're impressed. And they're scared. As they should be. As you should be. I've lived in that dark, remember? It burned all my fear away. Has it done the same for you? All I feel is hunger. Then what's happening with your former protege, Psycho Sally, won't matter to you. Have a good night. Wait. Tell me of Sally. She's entered the Queen's Crown Tournament on NXT, and nobody wants her in it, because of you. I have nothing to do with the child. Everybody sees what you've become. They know you were her mentor. They're too afraid of you, but they can touch Sally and want to make an example of her. If their intention is to hurt me through Sally, they will find themselves on a fool's errand. Still, I shall watch her from afar, a guardian devil with my fingers on her strings. Huh. Perhaps the amulet has taken less of you than I imagined. Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. The following contest will be a Queen's Crown Tournament. Quarter
She is the heavy hitter of the women's division. And she's definitely not here to make friends. She is here to make wins. Hey, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe! The Queen's Crown Tournament always promises a grand showcase for the skill, athleticism, and perseverance of these superstar entries. Absolutely, Michael. The intensity is palpable. And it's not just standard tournament pressure. There's something mysterious lurking here tonight. Adding an extra layer of excitement to the mix. Mysterious? I don't know about that, Saxton. Let's stick to what we can see in the ring. Arm control applied and a big boot to the guts. Ridiculous standing shooting star. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. From the top rope. What? The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. Thrown back in under the ropes. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. Oh, a step up in Zagari. Constant pressure being kept on Zoe. Zoe has to wake herself up and turn her intensity up a notch. And a unique splash goes into the pen. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Made her pay for her mistake. Oh, a snap mare. Kick right in the spine. Goal! Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Goodness gracious. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Single leg drop kick. And that might have just detoured Zoe's typical focus. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. Now some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Twists the arm and a... Oh, working on the arm. Arm ring. Oh, and a kick. Was nasty. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. Yeah, now Stark's got to turn the momentum around. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Fizz press! Fizz press! Fizz press! Practically never ending blows coming at full force here. Catches the clothesline. Oh, what a Spanish fly! Great counter! Uh-oh. Oh, that gets reversed. Into the cover! And a kick out. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close! Bam! Swinging neck breaker and a unique splash. And shoulders are down. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Could be in search of a second win now. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Clearly, she's still got a lot of fight left in her. Oh, kick to the face. Starks in imminent danger. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Two count. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Psycho Sally. Zoe Stark tastes defeat. An absolute. Did you see that, Justine? I'm going to the semifinals. Yes, I did. Really beat the odds on that one, didn't you? Did I? Gosh, I, I guess so. That's so cool. Zoe was super tough. Yeah, Zoe was supposed to knock your freaking block off. I booked you against her for her to win. Oh? Sally, oh. 
I don't want you in the tournament because the whole locker room is freaking out. Lights are flickering, there are ghosts in the mirrors, and all the food and catering spoiled. Um, okay. What's that have to do with me? That's all super witchy stuff, Sally. The cap? You see what she's doing on Raw? Everyone knows you're her trainee. I don't know if you noticed when Cap stabbed me in the back and put me out of action for a freaking month, but we aren't always locked up. Be that as it may, perception is reality, and everyone thinks there's a hex all over you. I'm the psycho here, but that sounds pretty cray. Whatever. Byron Saxton just started calling matches an ancient Sumerian. You need to call off Cap before this gets out of hand. Justine! Just do it, Sally! It's Psycho Sally, the maven of mayhem and madness. Here comes the pride fighter. And a woman who is... The Queen's Crown Tournament continues, but with a dark cloud hanging over the whole thing. That's right, Michael. With everything going on these days, it feels like we're holding this tournament inside a haunted house. These two superstars need to put that out of their minds. They've got a job to do. As do you, Saxton. I can't help it, Corey. I'm spooked. Pow! Oh, no. What's this? It's Cap, apparently here to help out her old friend, Psycho Sally. Kick in the gut. No way. No way. This is not... is so important in a match like this. Swinging neck breaker into a handstand splash. Wow. She kicks out at one. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. From the top, double stop. Is it enough? Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. A truly impressive kick out this late. Oh, a step up in Zagari. Places her right in the corner. They lift right to the face. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Uh-oh. Way too oh. low. Pinfall there. Incredible. Ridiculous standing shooting star. She pops the shoulder up in one. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. And a well executed move we just saw there. And the count stopped short of two. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. DeVille needs to be resourceful in this situation. Oh, check this out. What a DDT. Mm, good night. Cover! And she thwarts the pin attempt in one. Somehow still in this fight. Not down and out yet. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Kick out just before two. Her iron will on display for the world to see. Uh-oh. She scores big with the counter. Stiff kick. So many to build rules through into the triangle armbar. Got to pass the arm. Oh my goodness, this may be over quick. Can she hang on? She won't let go. 
Trying to free herself from the triangle. Left hands fighting desperately, and she's free. Forearm! DeVille struggling to defend herself. Yeah, she's in desperate search for answers now. Gets reversed. Shoulders down. Almost ended it there. She just won't stay down. Ah, oh, kick right in the face. Oh, could this... Uh-oh. Well scattered reversal there. And Sonya is finally able to mount some resistance with that. Yeah, Sonya getting some newly determined focus. Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. Sonya can be looking to end this. What? You've got to be kidding me. What? What, what just... I'm green, Saxton. Looks like there's no limit to how much damage this superstar can absorb. The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three. A running hurt Colorado. Beautiful. Double stop. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Two count. She did it. She picked up the victory. Here. 